Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Mike Moliterno. Welcome to the TGIF Report. Now, it has been a while since we've had one, but today is finally... New issue day! Yes, that is right. The mid-September issue is out. But first, we are going to talk briefly about the big event this weekend, and that is the Blake Shelton concert this Saturday at Stamboss Stadium, presented by Y Live. Everybody's slowing down on a Friday night. That is my jam, and I was looking for that, too. Although technically I think it's a jelly because it is a clear fruit spread made from cooked fruit juice, sugar, and pectin. But I digress. Now, if you are heading out to the concert, or even if you aren't, you should check out Guy Distolfo's story on our website all about how they're installing the stage and getting the venue ready for the big show. And there's even more good information to be found in Guy's story inside the mid-September issue, such as what's permitted in the stadium, where the pre-party will take place, and how you can get tickets. The arts and entertainment content from Guy is among the new pieces of content that you'll notice inside the paper as we expand our coverage. A few pages away, you'll find a list of real estate transactions by county as well as a list of new Ohio corporations. On page 54, we bring you our first article featuring the flight crew, a group of friends and beer lovers who travel the area sampling and reviewing the region's craft beers. In the article, the flight crew lands at Paladin Brewery in Austintown to review six beers. The beer I am going to review tonight is Paladin's Pumpkin Ale. It's 7%. All of our flight crew content, blogs, reviews, and videos can be found by clicking flight crew under the lifestyle and entertainment tab. Now while we're on the topic of everybody getting tipsy, you'll also want to check out this story we did earlier in the week on Tom's Foolery Distillery in nearby Burton. The business was started in 2008 by a husband and wife whose hobby got a little out of hand. It's a lot more intensive and expensive than you think. You can find that video under the Daily Buzz tab. Now back inside the issue on page three, we have an announcement about our 15-month brain gain campaign that we're launching in October. Through the campaign, we look to examine different ways to attract and retain our best young talent. Then on page six, Jeremy Lydic brings us this month's impact maker, the Walnut Grove in Canfield, which is a playground built specifically for kids and adults with special needs. We'll be bringing you a video story on the Walnut Grove next week, so be sure to look out for that. Then we get into our content on women entrepreneurs. George Nelson has this story about how the graduates of the YBI's WE program are helping each other grow their business. And starting on page 13, we have little profiles of several area women in business. Of course, as always, we have our editorial content featuring columns by Lou Zona and Edward Noga, as well as our cartoon from Dan O'Brien. And right next to that, you'll notice our masthead, which keeps getting a little bit bigger every issue. That's because we've recently hired about half a dozen new people here at the Business Journal, and three of them are introduced on page four. Our new entertainment editor, Guy Distolfo, graphic artist Robin Lazich, and sales and marketing analyst Christiana Savo. Now, two other recent hires are social media specialist Amy Peebles and reporter Lisa Solly, who is working on the Brain Gain campaign. So, as you can see, there is a lot going on in our region and a lot going on at the Business Journal, and the best way to stay on top of both is to subscribe to the Business Journal and to check back to businessjournaldaily.com often. That is all for this week's TGIF report. I'm Mike Moliterno. See you next Friday. Remodeling your kitchen or bath? Visit the Greenheart Design Center and Harvey's Floor Coverings showroom in Boardman during their Home for the Holidays remodel sale. Exciting piece of property. The building has a great retail front. This thing's sitting on three acres in primetime retail here. Go to our website. It's www.go30.com. Chad Cromer, Next Home Go 30 Realty. 717 Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do.